Right now at five, we must be clear, no one, not even the president, is above the law. I mean, what's happening in Washington, D.C. today is a disgrace. The stage is set in Washington, D.C. This is a kangaroo process. I wish it were not necessary. I wish the president's actions did not make it necessary. As President Donald Trump faces articles of impeachment. House Democrats announced two articles of impeachment against President Donald Trump. Both stem from his dealings with Ukraine. The president insists he did nothing wrong. CBS 4's Natalie Brand is live tonight in Washington, D.C. with more on this historic day. Natalie. Good evening, uh, Ruta Bay and Elliot. The White House press secretary said today that they were actually expecting more articles of impeachment, several different charges, but instead, Democratic leaders went with the approach of keeping limited, more focused articles, likely a strategy to keep more moderate Democrats on board. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi called it a sad day as Democrats announced articles of impeachment. I wish the president's actions did not make it necessary. The two charges are narrow in scope, abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. There is no mention of bribery, extortion or obstruction of justice, issues Democrats had debated. House Democrats say the president abused his power when he pressured Ukraine to announce an investigation into a political rival, Joe Biden. They also say the president ignored subpoenas and blocked key witnesses from testifying. President Trump engaged in unprecedented, categorical and indiscriminate defiance of the impeachment inquiry. Intelligence Committee Chairman Adam Schiff defended the speed of the inquiry now in its 77th day. The argument, why don't you just wait, amounts to this. Why don't you just let him cheat in one more election? House Republicans slammed the process as partisan and unfair. The way they have handled this from the very beginning, I know they set a timeline and they wanted to keep their timeline. They just never paid attention to the facts. President Trump again tweeted witch hunt and insisted he did not pressure Ukraine. The president has said he looks forward to a trial in the Republican-controlled Senate, which is expected early next year. This president wants uh, members of his administration to cooperate, but the rules have to be fair. Before a possible Senate trial, the House Judiciary Committee must first debate and pass the articles of impeachment, then send them to the full House for a vote. And we just learned some new information about next steps. We've learned that the Judiciary Committee will hold what's known as their markup hearing to debate the articles tomorrow evening around 7 o'clock. And that's when members on that committee will get to weigh in before a final vote. As you know, two South Florida Democrats, Ted Deutsch and Debbie Mukarsel Powell, are on that committee. The markup process is expected to continue into Thursday. And again, we're still expecting a full House vote sometime next week. I'll send it back to you. We are watching history unfold. Natalie Brand, thank you for the live update from Washington. President Trump is just the fourth president to face the threat of impeachment. Presidents Andrew Johnson and Bill Clinton were impeached, but neither was removed from office. Former President Richard Nixon resigned in 1974 before facing an impeachment vote, but not before articles of impeachment were drafted. This is what former President Clinton had to say about today's action. The Congress is doing what they believe is right. The American people will see. Uh, is it true? And is it what they say? And is it then what should be done with it if it's true? Meanwhile, the rest of us should go about our lives. And look for much more on the articles of impeachment against President Trump tonight on the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. That's at 6.30 after CBS 4 News at 6.